Now let's continue our team coverage. CBS 2's Dana Kozlov is live at the scene where the investigation is still underway. Dana. Erica, Chicago police say this started as a drug or during a drug investigation, but witnesses say it ended in front of the garages behind me here on the 4600 block of West Maypole when at least a half a dozen shots were fired. Now, Chicago police, dozens of them, have been on the scene looking for shell casings and other evidence for hours now. Chicago Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson says two tactical officers drove up to two people on the block who they say were acting suspiciously. He says one officer got out to talk to them when the female, a female offender, fired. But witnesses saw it differently. Second person who was our offender, female subject, turned towards the officer and fired multiple shots. Uh, the officer was able to return fire and his partner was also able to return fire. Uh, during the exchange of gunfire, the officer was hit. And thank goodness his bulletproof vest stopped the round. He was hit in the chest area. How many shots fired total? From how quick it happened, I'm at least hearing 10, 12 shots. And you only saw the police officers fire? Yes, ma'am. You did not see anyone else return fire? No, ma'am. After like a couple of shots, he was already on the ground. Now that account obviously differs greatly from what Chicago police are saying this afternoon. That is all part of the investigation. Now police say that 25-year-old woman who fired the gun, according to them, is in critical condition. She was taken to Stroger Hospital. Police are still looking for a second suspect, but they say they did recover a handgun here at the scene. We are live in West Garfield Park. Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Rob, Erica. All right, Dana, thank you.